In this video, we shall see how to model members using body in Midas Engine. Here we can create body elements and use them for creating members, openings in slabs, reference lines and even application of patch or line loads on slabs. Creating body is possible by two methods. One by importing the DXF or DWG files or two by drawing in Midas engine itself. To create body using importing, we can refer to a video on how to import DWG or DXF file in Midas engine. When it comes to drawing the body, let us go to the body tab. We can draw body in 3D, plane as well as story mode. According to the selected mode, the tools in the body tab are activated. So the sketches on the plane that we see over here is activated when we are in the plane or story mode. Let us begin with the 3D mode. In a 3D mode, let's look at the 2D sketch tool. Using the 2D sketch tool, we can create plane or faces by creating peripheral bodies. When we click on create 2D sketch, we'll have to select a predefined plane. For example, we can select the XZ plane and after we select the plane, this sketch tab opens up. In the sketch tab, we can directly start creating lines. We can create circles, rectangles, arcs. By right clicking, we can finish with our drawing. Similarly, we can even click on profile. When we click on profile, we can use lines as well as arcs in the same profile. We can switch to arc mode as well. And then we can simply go ahead, create the arcs. After we come back to the starting point, our entire polygon is created. We can select as in delete. So in this way, we can create a regular shaped sketch. And after that, we can also further do some editing using certain editing tools like modifying, uh, moving, copying, array, rotate, offsets. For example, offset, we can select. After that, you can click on finish sketch and then you can see over here a 2D face is generated. In 3D, we can also create points to apply point load, line body for applying line load. We can also create the 2D face using face sketching tool. For that, we need to like either select the periphery body lines and then create it or we use by draw tool to create our uh, face. The further, we have got uh, tools to transform like can move our bodies. We can copy the bodies. We can rotate, then we can do the mirror. In the mirror again, we have copy and move tools. We can uh, choose the plane, we can even choose three points. So there are three points we can choose and select the object, then click on apply. So basically we can do certain editing tools over here. Then uh, further we can even do the offsetting. So in this way we can just provide an offset distance. Like then further we have uh, got uh, editing tools, for example, intersect tool. So we can go ahead and we can intersect the curves. Then intersected curves can be further merged. We can do intersection for 2D as well in case there is division of 2D faces. Trim tool is there, can delete the 1D curves and uh, there is extension tool, divide tool, split tool, all these editing tools are available. Now when it comes to a solid element, 
we can use these faces and we can use these generate tools like extrude we can select the face and we can simply extrude it in a particular direction and click on apply so we have got our solid similarly we can select a plane and then extrude it further in this way we can go on and create our entire solid pretty much like sketchup then further we can also use revolve tool so for revolving for example we would like to create a dome so for creating a dome let us uh, do a small procedure let's go to a uh, plain mode all right in a plain mode not this plane i would uh, go for a vertical plane all right so in this plain mode uh, let's create an arc with a center point and let us create one line all right let's go back to the 3d mode now and uh, with the help of revolve we can select this line I'd like to show that in an isometric view so I selected this arc and uh, then we can use this axis by selecting our line that we have created vertical line then we can provide over here the rotation angle so that would be 360 degrees and then click on apply so here we go we have got our dome generated and this dome further can be converted into member depending on uh, what type of analysis and design we would like to perform we can choose to convert this dome into a member so similarly we can use sweep tool lofting tool and create solid elements or shell elements then further we have got uh, certain modification tools like boolean cut tool which can intersect the solids or shells and make sure of nodal connectivity then further fillet chamfer commands are available these are similar to that we have in autocad then uh, there is shell wherein the uh, solid shape in inner, inner part of the solid shape is converted into an empty space we can scale our elements as well so let's say two times bigger so this is how we can simply increase the size then uh, further we can use explode tool explode tool can simply convert our solids that we see over here into shells so just simply select the solid and click on apply and uh, then we can see over here now only the face is available so this is one thing another interesting part about this explode is uh, explode tool we have got delete original so we can select the solid and click on apply all right then we can select our shell to the face and as you can see over here this has become now completely hollow from inside and we have got vertical plates and horizontal plate this can actually be used for a water tank as well so that's how we can create different geometries very easily using this body tool and once we finish creating our body we can go ahead convert them into members using convert to member tool so in this convert to member tool we have got three options one is curve second is face and third is a solid under the curve the lines and arcs come into picture one directional bodies so those are curves for that what we have to do is simply select the line and select the member set it should belong to uh, the type of member well this line could be a beam could be a column sub beam sub column or a brace member so according to the type of design we want we can select the type of member 
then provide its associated property and then click on apply and continue or we can click on OK to finish with our convert to member. Now about face, when it comes to a body face then again we can select our body and we can select further the type of member set then member type. In the member type we can convert bodies into plates however when it comes to an irregular shape such as dome we can use shell or we can use wall type when it comes to plate that time we can select a simple planar body face the property it should belong to and then click on apply and continue we can do the same thing for all these even this one so that's how you can create plates next the solid that we have generated in here like this one that can be converted into a solid member so just go for the solid select the object this is a solid object and over here all we have to do is select the member set and the property so in the property we have steel and concrete property so we can select accordingly and click on ok so here we go we have got over here our solid 1d 2d as well as 3d members successfully converted using body so complicated geometries can be created using body and then finally we can convert those bodies into members this is how efficiently we can do the modeling in midas engine using body tool